Uh, hello there, everybody. I'm Mr. Gaming Pie, and this is Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog. All right, the first in the Sonic series. I'm probably going to be going through a lot of these pretty soon, and well, obviously, I'm going to start with the very first one. So here we go, Sonic One. There are a lot of places to Sonic. There, are, there are lots of ways to play Sonic One, actually. I mean, like, I have at least four different ways. I have an original copy for the Sega Genesis. I have Sonic Mega Collection, which has this on it. That's the version that I'm playing right now. Uh, it also appears uh, in Sonic Generations as an unlockable. And uh, let's see, I, I have one other. Oh, yeah, I, uh, an Xbox 360 collection. Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection has it. And, well, I'm sure there are even more than those four ways to play it. So, really, if you have a game system, there's really no excuse to not be able to play this game. Anyway, this is where it all started. Oh. I'm gonna try to get all the Chaos Emeralds on this run. And, uh, yeah. That's about it. <laughs> now, as for the game, Sonic can jump. And if you press down while running, he can, uh, little, he can spin a little bit. These are the only actions that he has in this game. No homing attack, no spin dash. Oh dear. Okay. This is this is the first Chaos Emerald minigame. Let's try not to fail it already. Sonic, that's that's the opposite of succeeding what you're doing there. Oh dear, no! No, 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 no. Uh, the goal of this is to reach the Chaos Emerald and not hit any of the little signs that say goal on them. Those aren't your goal. Do not trust the little circly goal things. They're evil. And designed to confuse you, I suppose. <laughs> Alright. Now, in this game, there are only six Chaos Emeralds, as opposed to, to the seven that you would find in later games. Um, this... The, the reason why they actually had seven in later games is because it gave Super Sonic, and uh, from what I understand, the creator of Sonic was actually inspired by the Dragon Ball Z series to do it that way. With the Dragon Balls being, there being seven of those and giving the main character gold spiky hair and whatever. Now, whenever I was a little kid, this is about as far as I can make it in this game for a long time. One of the reasons was this part right here. Now you see, they have these speed shoes, don't grab them. <laughs> Because this part is a rather tricky platforming section, if you're going off all over the place. Because, you see, spikes in this game, they don't give you an, any invincibility time. Meaning that you'll bounce off of a spike, and then land, to immediately get hurt again. At best, you might run into solid ground again, but it's pretty much instant death. Because Sonic doesn't have a spin dash in this game, you'll often have to build up some speed before doing any kind of loops. This is another tricky platforming section where they give you an, an where they give you a special item that basically tricks you. You see, your invincibility it'll protect you from these spikes, of course. However, underneath the platforms that move up and down, those are endless pits, and well, invincibility doesn't protect you from endless pits. So people that go through here a first time might say, Hey, I'm invincible, I'll just run straight through there, and then, well, end up falling into one of the endless pits under the platforms. That doesn't end well, and that happened to me a lot whenever I was a little kid. So yeah, just the second level, and they completely just try to trick you over and over again. Now the way to enter a Chaos Emerald minigame is to get 50 rings uh, whenever you reach the end of the level. Or, well, to have 50 rings whenever you reach the end of the level. Alright, now, some Chaos Emerald minigame levels I remember better than others. This one, not so much, but I know that that was the wrong way. These areas, it's kind of hard to control Sonic in. He sort of slips and slides around all over the place, and, yeah, it's it, it really is the point to be hard to control, though. Since, after all, this isn't a necessary part of the game, it's just 100%. <laughs> In the Chaos Emeralds, they don't actually do anything but give you the good ending. Like, there's no Super Sonic, there's no special bone. Well, I guess you do get extra points, but who cares about those? Let's try this again. There we go. Hitting the R's will actually reverse the spin of the level. 
doing this is very important and can actually decide whether or not you win the minigame. There are also various circles that will speed up or slow down the spin of the level. Though these are though those are not quite as important. Invincibility at the very start of this level, and really this level, it's it's easier than the second one. <laughs> now, in this first game, each level has three acts. Later on in Sonic 2, they would change that to have two acts in these uh, classic styled games. And I just completely lost my sound. Okay. Well, I'm sure that you can still hear this thing going on. Anyway. Moving onward. I have no idea what I was talking about anymore. Now, underneath these platforms, I do believe that there's an interesting thing. Maybe or maybe not. But uh, in this level, there are these uh, little wooden poles that you'll walk across, and uh, they have spikes on them. Oh dear, like right here. Yes, right here. We have an example of it. They aren't too hard, just make sure you're not going crazy fast. Bam. Nice little shortcut right there. Now this is in no means a speedrun. Okay, so for the third axe, you're going to be fighting a boss at the end. And because of that, you won't be able to... Um... Alright, got the invincibility box. Yeah, you won't be able to get Chaos Emeralds. Uh, in Act 3's. But anyway, if you get that uh, invincibility box in that tree, which is actually pretty hard to do, uh, you can fight the boss while invincible. This this helps out a lot. As you can see there, I just beat the boss. <laughs> I don't think that the invincibility actually runs out if you get to it while uh, in the boss battle. Okay, folks, Sonic has passed Act 3. Awesome Nessity! And I think that about does it. So, next time on Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog, I'm going to be going through Marble Zone. See you then!